Hi, today's topic is going to be about improving adrenal function or energy levels. Most people in America suffer from some degree of adrenal exhaustion or adrenal fatigue, and um, I'm no exception. That's in fact one of the things that's launched me into being a nutritionist was my personal adrenal exhaustion that started when I was 20 years old. And that was a result of having uh, mercury toxicity occur in my body from silver fillings when I was 15 and a half. And the cumulative effect of that and the digestion problems that happened from that caused me to experience the adrenal exhaustion when I was 20 years old. So I have had to play around with my diet and with supplementation extensively, more than the average person, to recover the degree of adrenal or physical energy that I used to experience. And uh, when I was a kid, I used to experience a lot of, I mean, a lot of people would report this, that they had energy as a kid, but I mean, I had an exceptionally high level and um, was very athletic. And um, I know what my body's capable of experiencing once the adrenals are fully functioning. So with that as my measuring stick, I've worked with a lot of different products over the years and found that most of the adrenal supplementation on the market um, fails to address uh, properly supporting the body's ability to produce energy. So if you take, say, an adrenal glandular, that will give you RNA, DNA proteins that your adrenals can use to rebuild themselves. However, I found that that method didn't rebuild mine and I never recovered by using adrenal glandulars. And there's many versions of adrenal glandulars on the market. Um, the other is taking just the actual precursors to steroid hormones, pregnenolone, uh, DHEA. Um, these will help you to make more testosterone, estrogen hormones. And as helpful as that may be, it's temporary in nature and it doesn't really seem to produce exceptionally high levels of energy. Um, there's two parts to the adrenal glands and the adrenal glands sit on top of your kidneys. And there's one that's called the part that's called the cortex and the other part that's called the medulla. And the cortex produces the steroid hormones. It also produces cortisol, which regulates your glucose levels, and aldosterone, which regulates your mineral levels and your water fluid levels and your blood pressure and things like that. And um, then there's the medulla, which produces the epinephrine and the norepinephrine. And that is the hormone responsible for your energy levels on a day-to-day -day basis. So that when you drink your caffeine drink, if you've ever been a coffee drinker or still are, then that caffeine is stimulating the medulla to release adrenaline and produce the energy. However, that's not the most effective way to produce energy because anytime you stimulate your adrenals, it leads to depletion and um, also blood sugar fluctuations. So you end up being more tired and um, if it's coffee you're doing it with, it's an acidifying, it creates an acidification process. It helps you to lose bone mass to maintain your proper pH and it's just not good for you and you won't, you won't like the cumulative effects as you use it year in and year out. Um, so what I've also, and then in the area of uh, herbal support, um, there's products like rhodiola, um, licorice, ginseng, and eleuthero centococcus. Um, those four herbs have been promoted as support for adrenal function. But what I found is, is that they're more stimulatory in nature, so that if I take any one or a combination of those kinds of herbs, um, I might get a short burst of energy, but typically it's very quickly thereafter that I feel this fatigue. And that's because anytime you have very exhausted adrenal glands, that little bit of herbal stimulation um, will quickly lead to the fatigue and um, doesn't result in you know producing the energy you wanted. So the real mechanism you need to support in your adrenal glands to be able to produce energy is the medulla. So I found that the epinephrine and the norepinephrine, that's where you get your energy from. So in order for you to have a daily good supply of energy, one is you definitely need to sleep soundly each night. And you need to sleep at least five hours or more, uh, preferably to recover your full adrenal capacity to produce your optimum level of adrenaline on a day-to-day -day basis that gives you the drive, the focus, um, and the ability to enjoy life. Um, so, as I said, most of us are stressed to some degree or another. We may not get all the sleep we need. We may be lacking the nutrients we need on a day-to-day -day basis to enable the medulla to produce the epinephrine. So, there's a combination of products that I've assembled that I find work exceptionally well 
to enable you to daily have more of the adrenaline to um, have that focus and that energy. So here they are. Um, first off is taking a free form amino acid supplement that contains phenylalanine in it in the right ratios and including the branch chain amino acids. This full spectrum amino acid supplement that I work with is called Amino Sports. contains 16 amino acids and it contains the three branch chains of valine, leucine, and isoleucine. Those are the ones that repair your muscles. So if you want to help yourself experience more muscle strength, this will also be a product you'll enjoy taking. Um, also, the phenylalanine in it is what is the building block for making the adrenaline in your body. So your body uses that phenylalanine, makes the epinephrine and the norepinephrine, and you have more mental and physical energy. Plus, if you do anything athletically, you feel it strength-wise in your body because of the other amino acids that are there. That are there. Also, when you take free-form amino acids, they're absorbed in 45 minutes. There's no allergic potentiality, um, and they'll activate your pancreas to produce the hormone glucagon, and that's going to stabilize your blood sugar for long, long periods of time. One dosage of amino sports, and you'll probably experience the energy from it and the blood sugar stability for six to eight hours in the day, or more sometimes. Um, the next product is to take a trace mineral supplement so that your body can convert the amino acids uh, into the corresponding hormones or neurotransmitters. So you need a good trace mineral supplement to do that because trace minerals are what marry proteins to, be, to, make, to make metabolic enzymes and then these metabolic enzymes are involved in converting the phenylalanine into the epinephrine and norepinephrine. <clears throat> so Mineral Magic addresses the trace mineral needs of the body. Um, I favor Mineral Magic over all of the trace minerals because um, especially the, uh, compared to the Great Salt Lake or the ocean water salt minerals, I find these don't work at all to help create metabolic enzymes and um, that they're more like just an electrolyte. So Mineral Magic does do that and um, people have reported a lot of benefits on Mineral Magic. 99% of the time people report energy improvements, they report their craving for bad food goes away. 40% um, of the time people have reported their gray hair reversing. So Mineral Magic is an exceptional, exceptional product. It just really delivers results. Um, the next one is the B vitamins that your body's going to need to also help create the energy equation of enzyme production to convert the phenylalanine into the epinephrine and norepinephrine. Um, so there's two different choices you have in the B vitamin category from us. One is to take Barley Max. Um, Barley Max is a superfood from barley grass juice powder and alfalfa grass juice powder that contains all the B vitamins. In fact, all the vitamins your body needs except vitamin D. And that um, it also helps alkalinize the body, which is also good because people always run excessively acidic. Um, they need to supplement to be, be able to create an alkaline pH. And it also is a blood builder because of its high chlorophyll content. So you could use Barley Max for your B vitamin source or you can use something called Max Stress B Nanoplex. This is a unique product. It's nutritional yeast. It's been um, eaten up by bacteria that have converted the um, B vitamins into nutritional yeast into the active form of the vitamin. And that active form of the vitamin is, uh, requires no further conversions to be used. So when you take into your body any B vitamin supplement or B vitamin from a food, there's about five different conversion steps it has to go through before it's actively usable to, by your body. And that's already done for you by the bacteria.